now. Turkey is set to launch a new satellite. The Gokturk-1 will gather intelligence for the Turkish armed forces and provide high-resolution images to support Turkey's fight against terrorism. The satellite's undergone intense environmental testing at Turkey's first space systems integration and testing centre before being sent to the Kauau launch centre in French Guyana. Well, we will be going to, uh, to live pictures of the launch ceremony uh, very, very shortly. Uh, it's going to be hosted by Turkey's Air Force Command in Ankara. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is there as part of the audience as well. But joining us live in the studio now is TRT World Science reporter Surab Roy to tell us a bit more about this. What can you tell us then about this satellite as we wait for it to, uh, to launch? Well, Paul, this is a state-of-the-art satellite and it is... Uh... Uh, it, it's a sun-synchronous satellite and it's low Earth orbit, which means that it's just going to be above the Earth uh, between 500 to 700 kilometers. And it's going to send high-resolution images to the Turkish military and to the Turkish Air Force so that it's able to combat terrorism. It's able to also plan its security measures against terrorist organizations, protect the border, uh, while at the same time ensure that uh, the country is safe. Besides that, the, uh, the satellite is also expected to do a lot of other civilian um, activities as well, such as weather monitoring, uh, keeping an eye on the forests, and uh, ensuring that the borders are protected, and that also looking after the uh, urbanization as well as the scope of urban growth in Turkey. Well, we can see live pictures on the monitor now of the, uh, the launch site. And you can see the countdown as well. We are expecting it to uh, launch off in the next 15 seconds or so. Let's uh, pause to watch the launch. Alçak irtifa dünya yörüngesine oturacağı yolculuğuna başladı. Biraz bu yolculuğu, gerçi bahsedildi ama biraz daha ayrıntılarıyla paylaşalım. Well, we saw there the, uh, the Gokturk 1 launch, um, then a room of delegates and then some clouds. But there it is, going into orbit uh, as we speak, Sarab. You've outlined some of uh, what it's going to be doing when it's up there. Is this unprecedented for Turkey? Has it got similar satellites up there? right now? Yes, Turkey has had a history of um, launching satellites and it started really small but before this it had Gokturk 2 in orbit as well but what's really big and why this is a huge milestone for Turkey is that this is perhaps one of the few or one of the only satellites in this region which was put together indigenously with the help of a few foreign partners uh, but its program and its entire source code and coding was done completely by the Central Turkish Research Organization known as TÜBİTAK as well as the Turkish uh, aerospace industries and that's what makes it important because that means that Turkey has escalated the ladder within the space club. Um, this also means that Turkey is ready to uh, accomplish or fulfill the uh, promise that it made a couple of years ago that it is going to be a, a, a space power and its Turkish uh, air force will have a space command as well. So we're looking at uh, Turkey, which is growing stronger in space technology. We saw the room of delegates applaud. Uh, it looks like it has been a successful launch. I'm sure there were some nervous people in the, uh, the Turkish authorities uh, watching that launch. But uh, the Gokturk 1 has been launched, sir. Just remind us briefly, uh, as we come towards the end of the programme, uh, the main purpose of this and how exactly it's going to help the Turkish military in their operations. The main purpose of this satellite is that it's going to be an imaging and a reconnaissance as well as an intelligence satellite. It is going to keep an eye on Turkey's border. It's going to keep an eye on what kind of Tur uh, security issues that Turkey has, for instance, with terrorist organizations like PKK and Daesh on its border, how to keep its border safe, uh, while at the same time also not to forget that there's a huge refugee crisis in the region and uh, how to ensure that Turkey manages that properly. Um, besides that, civilian purposes, such as keeping an eye on the forests and weather, uh, as well as uh, urban um, growth and uh, scope for urban management. Okay, uh, Surav Roy, our science correspondent, thank you very much for that.